And to all of you watching here, come close to the screen and listen. People don't have to like you. People don't have to love you. They don't even have to respect you. But when you look in the mirror, you better love what you see. You better love what you see. Be uncomfortable. Get yourself in a situation where you feel a little bit about a challenge. You're feeling something about being challenged. You're understanding that challenges are good for you. Challenges are going to make you better, going to make you stronger, going to push you through any adversity that you may face in life. But nobody's coming to save you. There's no knight in shining armor. And the people that say they will, they don't really stick around for long. The reality is this. This whole life thing was never really meant to be about anyone else. You're kind of supposed to be the hero of this story. Even if you feel weak right now, even if you feel alone, you feel down, you feel like you can't do it, you can. And you will. All you have to do is show up. So, show up today. You have the power to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. Don't underestimate yourself. You don't know enough about yourself to become a cynic. And so you've got to challenge yourself to access that power that you have within you. You're more than a conqueror. I'm amazing when you don't think I'm amazing. I love me even if you stop loving me. You can say the nastiest, meanest, evilest shit that you could ever conjure up. It will never change the way I feel about myself. It takes faith to jump off of the edge. It takes faith to step into your purpose. It takes faith to step into your destiny. It takes faith to pull away from everything that is familiar, to step into uncharted territory, to become the person you were born to be. It takes faith. This is my time. This is my time. I'm bright enough. I'm old enough. I'm young enough. I've experienced enough. I'm wise enough. I understand that I am enough. Self discipline is self love. If you want to be happy, you have to love yourself. I love me independent of anything that anybody could ever say. It has nothing to do with being arrogant or egotistical. It's just a matter of knowing and being aware of self-worth. I love you. If you make it to the end of this video, I want you to write, self-love is the cure to self-hate. Self-love is the cure to self-hate. You matter, right? There's always going to be somebody that cares about you. And you're a good person. No matter what people say, you matter. I love me. So the day that you decide to stop loving me, I'm not going to love myself any less. I believe in me. If you stop believing in me, I'm not going to believe in myself any less. You know, as crazy as it sounds, one decision can completely change your life. <sighs> So what are you waiting for? I wouldn't change what happened to me. And that's the God's honest truth. If any one of you had a superhero ability where you could send me back in time and give me a do-over, I wouldn't accept it. I would gladly relive everything I have been through, provided I had this outcome. Because who I am now and what I offer the world, I wouldn't want to give that up. To avoid going through those dark days or the pain I went through. I think it was all worth it to turn me into who I am now. I think we, we look down now to 16 year olds and say, where are you going to go to college? What are you going to do for the rest of your life? And it's like, they're sick. They're not fully baked yet. How do they know? Give them a break. Just say, look, I think after high school, take a year off, take two years off, join the Peace Corps, travel, go figure things out or just enjoy yourself. For the first time in their lives, they're adults, and they don't have to be somewhere. They're not told to be somewhere. Like I tell people all the time, we all gotta go through something to get something that we want in life. Things may not always go the way you want it to go, but I promise you, if you continue to focus on the positive rather than the negatives, 
you will be all right. It's tough sometimes. It gets tough every day, but we got to make it. No matter what it is, no matter what you're going through, just think about it for a second. Somebody did not wake up this morning, but you did. I always say this to people often. You are above ground. Why are you above ground? Because there's purpose within you. There's purpose for you. There's opportunity for you. You feel like you're missing out on all the fun. Me too. Everyone else has more friends. Everyone else does the fun stuff on the weekends. Everyone else gets all the attention. We're missing out on a lot, and it doesn't end there. We're missing out on the endless search for acceptance from an empty source. We're missing out on the constant need to mask the reality of who we are. We're missing out on the acting like everything is okay and shutting down when the crowd is gone. So yeah, we're missing out, but I think that's just fine for now. My life is like I'm running from a pack of starving wolves. If I slow down at all, I will be eaten alive. Like I have one choice and it's to keep going as fast as I can or I'll be torn to pieces. And that's what it felt like. And I love that. Like that sounds so like negative and dark, but like I love that. It was such like a motivation. No, you see, it's impossible. And plus your name, your name, who can pronounce Schwarzen Schnitzel or something like that? No one can pronounce it, so forget about it, Arnold. This is the kind of thing that I heard. Imagine, you go from studio executive to studio executive, from agent to agent, from manager to manager, and they all said exactly the same thing. Now that's very encouraging, isn't it? But you know something? I didn't give a shit. I didn't. Because I believed that I can be a leading man. I believe that I could be another Clint Eastwood or another Burt Reynolds. I believe that I could be those people. I said, there's enough room on that ladder that I can fit up there. And I looked back again and learned from what I learned in sports. It's all about the hard work that you put in. You get to redesign You are your Michelangelo. You are your greatest sculpture. And you get to recarve and you get to up level as much as you need. You're not sentenced to this life this way. You chose it.